I was there. Sure that's their seat. That's their seat. We dug a hole for ourselves tonight uh, to start the game. Uh, thought we had some really good looks, uh, but just weren't able to get any of them fall. Thought we were, we were 0 for 10 in the, in the first half from three, um, and then they were able to knock down some shots themselves. I think they made six. Um, some of them were some tough ones. Uh, thought we did a good job of taking care of the ball tonight, but in the second half, we did, we did a really uh, good job of matching up with their front court. I thought their, their front court dominated us in the in the second half, and that was the difference in the game. We, I thought we had an opportunity to cut it to 10, had an opportunity to get back into the game, make a few plays, but every time we, we got it to 10, they made a play, and it was usually a second chance play where we played pretty good initial defense, but weren't able to secure the rebound. Um, and that's the, that was the result for tonight. Question for Tyron. Right, this is back to back game shoot with over 20 points. I feel like you're a little healthier now and starting to get it rolling? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, just trying to do whatever it takes to get a win. Um, you know, last game was against Arkansas. We were fortunate enough to get the win. And tonight, tried to do the same. Just wasn't, you know, our night. Uh, Tyron, you matched up with Jordan Wright a lot. What was it like? having that matchup, and what do, you, what do you think led to your success on the offense end? Uh, it was fine, man. Just I've been matching up with him for three years while he was here at Vandy, me and him. Uh, so it's nothing new, you know, compete every day. So, um, you know, tonight they got to win, but, uh, you know, we, we'll see him again at some point. Tyron, possibly the last game that you'll see all the Venable students at. You know, Memorial, the next game is going to be during spring break. Can you just talk about what the Vanderbilt community and the fans have meant for you during your time as a Commodore? Uh, the community has been big for me, man. Just, you know, just that support. Uh, you know, like I probably got one of the biggest moments in Vanderbilt history with the shot. So, you know, just, you know, the the support and all from that just, you know, it makes me excited. It makes me happy. And I'm just glad I've been able to be here for the last four years. All right. Thanks, Steve. Thank Questions for Coach. Obviously, Jordan playing here and being your first recruit. What was the dynamic like playing against him today? No, it's, um, I'm happy for Jordan. Jordan's been, been he's a big been a big part of kind of our, our build for the last you know three or four years. He was I mean he's kind of the epitome of what you know um, kid to come here and, and got better and better and better. And obviously, he had, had an opportunity to. To play, you know, go to his dream school, you know, go back to LSU, go back home, play in front of his home team, and, and I think that was uh, something that we helped him do. I mean, I don't think they, you know, it wasn't an option for him coming out of high school. He came here, he got better, put himself, you know, as, as one of the better players in in, in, in our league, and he's showing and he's showcasing it there, you know. So I mean, we're happy for him, happy for what he's he done for for us during the time here. I mean, he was again, like you saw his. Um, maturation. You, you saw us get better as he got better. You know, over the over the time that he was here, and, and he had his degree. I think that's uh, something that he you know, should be really proud of, and, and something that could that's really going to serve him well for the next uh, for the rest of his life. I mean, I know he has aspirations to um, to kind of get into sports management and, and maybe be an agent or be a general manager or something like that, but. I don't think I, I don't think you should sell himself short. I, I really think he got some talent and the level to, to play at the, the next level if he focus in and, and really do um, do the things that he's capable of. He, he he knows how to do it all. It's just a matter of if he does it all, and he's um, and then he's showing that and he's playing well for 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 his new team. Obviously, a big deficit at halftime. But can you talk about what you guys did better in the second half to really uh, kind of <clears throat> try to make it more competitive? Well, yeah, well, I think we we made a few more shots, right? You know, that we had no threes in the in the in the first half, and we you know we wind up with, with three three for 24, 21 is not a good number. Um, we were able to get to the line a little bit. I thought the you know the whistles was a little bit one sided to, to start the game. Uh, we you know we got six to three, and I thought Tyron driving into those baskets could have easily been some and ones or opportunities for him to uh, for us to to get the foul count to maybe get to the bonus at the end. In the second second half, still, you know, we there, there was some 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 plays at the basket where I didn't think we got the benefit of the doubt. But our guys kept playing, they kept kept trying to get in the paint um, and making plays for each other, and, and that was that's a positive for us. That's why we were able to cut it to ten. But then um, just their, you know, they, they made plays. I mean, they 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 really dominated our our front court again. I say it. I mean, it's just. 
um, Reed, um, Dean, Baker, you know, catching the ball too deep, but then you know, didn't have enough resistance of not allowing the ball to get into the to, to the post, got into the post too e easy. Um, and with his size, he was able to score there. Um, Reed just lined us up and, and, and drove us. Um, and, you know, Dean was able to get a couple of offensive rebounds there that, you know, in those uh, in that key moment when we were making a push that, that kind of stymied our run. Tyler Lawrence is obviously back-to-back 20-point -back games. Do you feel like he's healthier now? You mentioned his health earlier in the year, and do you feel like he started to get it rolling? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, uh, you know, his ability to get downhill is definitely a plus for us. And uh, obviously, I know he was, you know, excited to play against Jordan. That was his roommate when he was here. Um, they, they, they even lived off campus together. Um, so, you know, I, I think it was, that was definitely uh, a matchup that, that he looked forward to, probably both of them. But again, really, the, the game was not enough contributions. Uh, again, our key guys, our main guys, I mean, they played heavy minutes tonight, and, and, and they gave us what we needed. We just didn't get enough um, with, with the supporting cast to, to give ourselves a chance to win tonight. You got out rebounded by a decent margin. What did you think of the ferocity or lack of it, I guess, for you guys in the paint the last ball? Uh, I said it twice, man. We got, we got dominated. Our front court got dominated. That, that's where it was. I mean, it wasn't so much our, our guards. It was just basically we got to go hit and got to go find bodies, and we didn't do that enough tonight. Um, just, you know, you never, it's not, not ever one guy. But again, uh, the guys that played in the, their 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 pr production from from their bigs and our production for, uh, from our bigs was was lopsided there in the second half. Um, I, I don't think we, um, you know, we, we I think we played nothing against LSU, but I think we played better rebounding teams. You know, just overall um, that. You know, we, the, the margin wasn't as, as big as it was tonight, so it was just a matter of focus and attention to detail of going and, and being physical and, and trying to keep those guys off the board, and, and we didn't do that at the level that we needed to tonight. All right. Thank you. Thanks.